I love this phone. I've had the Galaxy Z Fold 5 for over a little bit over two weeks now and I can't get separated from it. I keep it with me all the time. Wherever I go, uh, I use it all the time. Uh, I'm starting to get over uh, battery anxiety, charging it uh, once per day or sometimes more, but just I'm using it a lot as well. So I'm starting to think of it more of a laptop and less or an iPad and less of just a normal phone. I started recording right now on the phone so that I can show you the screen as I move through different topics. I'm sure other reviews talked about the specifics of the format. I wanted to talk about the feel or how I'm using it on a day-to-day -day basis and how it's really changing my life. So I prepared the list here of points that I wanted to discuss. Uh, first of all, I wanted to talk about the advertisement for the Z Fold 5. You know, when the lady is on her phone all the time and she's ignoring uh, her PC, she's ignoring her uh, office monitors, whatever, and all these monitors are sad. I thought it was funny and kind of an exaggeration until I started using the phone. It's definitely not an exaggeration. I find myself using the phone a lot and I'm using the PC a lot less. I even had a customer call where I was like, it was during lunch, I didn't want to go up to the office. So what I ended up uh, doing is I joined the call on Teams and I had another instance with Zoom as well. I was able to see everything. It was just having a nice screen in front of me. I was able to see what people are discussing. I was able to give recommendations based on that. As you probably know by now, I'm in IT consulting. It helped me uh, work better. And instead of like uh, being on my PC all the time, I can just have my phone and do other stuff. I can work on LinkedIn as well. So uh, I'm uh, preparing for a certification called the Certified Information Certified Chief Information Security Officer, uh, CISO. And the book itself, it's over $500 in US dollars. So I was just chilling on my phone at night. <laughs> I, start, I opened Sales Navigator and started contacting people. It was a really nice experience. The way I was using it, it, was, it felt like an iPad. It felt like I'm having the power of PC with me. And I ended up finding the book for a little bit over $200 Canadian. So I feel like this is already, the phone is already helping me uh, work better and smarter. As per the screens, so when it's open, it's 7.6 inch screen. This is the one that everybody loves. And this is like really amazing for a lot of reasons. As I mentioned before, the meeting, uh, I have uh, my calendar on the main screen now, which uh, helps a lot to make sure I don't forget anything. And if I scroll to the other side, uh, I see the calendar for my main client. And I also see uh, my health information uh, as I started going more to the gym and um, uh, tracking all this information. It's pretty cool, uh, all the features that uh, are built into the phone. Now, a lot of people are complaining about the 6.2 inch screen. So this is what you see here. They're saying it's too narrow and it's not really comfortable to work with. I've had a different experience. I find it's really great for picking up the phone, answering a message on WhatsApp or a Facebook Messenger or whatever. It does what it's supposed to do. Even when I'm filming, I usually don't find the need to unfold the phone and look at the extra real, uh, real estate that the screen is giving me, the big screen. This is more than enough. Uh, for me at least, and I do a lot of things using just the screen. And whenever I wanna go on Reddit or uh, Facebook or LinkedIn or whatever, I end up unfolding the phone and enjoying all this amazing screen has to offer. For the battery, uh, some success it's up to 24, 21 hours of screen time. At least that's what I understood on their website, but that's not really the case. The battery, I would say it lasts uh, a little bit less than a day. And this is a new battery, so I'm expecting it to be less and less with time. But honestly, I'm not finding any issue with that because I am using it a lot. So it's a lot of usage. I definitely see a little bit of a difference with the Note 20 Ultra, the one that I had before. Maybe because I had it for a couple of years or more, it wasn't lasting as much as I wanted it to. And I wasn't using the phone that much even. But I'm using the Fold 5 a lot. And even if the battery lasts me half a day, I'm okay with that. I can just charge it. 25 watt, I wish it was better. Like you see a lot of phones now uh, providing 40 and 45 watt charging capability, but it's not the end of the world. 
for what I'm having here, I'm really enjoying it. Let's talk about the CPU. Processing to me, it feels amazing. I feel like I'm using a computer. And the reason is like, let's say I open the phone app here. Great, there's no history, so I can share the screen. Uh, and then I decide, you know what? I wanna open LinkedIn. I can use both screens really easy. And I don't have uh, to, to worry about dragging things. I really thought this is gonna be a less intuitive way when I was like uh, watching all the reviews. But now that I have this phone, I even had a call with the bank and they were asking for the account number uh, for my, uh, for, well, for my account. And I just dragged the application th to take half uh, the screen as I was talking with them. And I was taking, at, uh, another instance, I was taking notes as I was uh, listening to something. So it's really great the way that this helps you with your life and uh, how it improves your work, your day-to-day -day life. So this is very impressive. And I found that the speed is amazing. So even if I grab, now I didn't try to do three applications at a time. This is the first time I'm doing it. So I just did it with WhatsApp and it's really intuitive. It's really fast. And uh, <laughs> I'm checking LinkedIn as well all the time. I added some widgets for the weather. I probably have to hide this information, my location. Now let's talk about weight. This is a definitely heavy phone. You will feel it. Even with the Note 20 Ultra, it was a heavy phone. This is heavier. Uh, I tried using the phone without the cover. It looks amazing without the cover. Honestly, I find it looks much better without the cover. But I always felt like it was like a brick fall, uh, waiting to fall. So I was super careful with it. When I didn't have the cover, I was worried that uh, it might fall, even though I have like the one year like warranty on it. So uh, at the end, I decided, no, no. Let's put the slim cover back on. Uh, I like it. It looks nice. I hope the recording continues. No, it's gonna stop. The S Pen Slim, it looks like a toy to be honest, but it does the job. I still prefer the elegance and the look of the Note 20 Ultra uh, S Pen. Let's start the recording again, I guess. Once you get used to the weight, you find that you cannot get separated from this phone. It helps a lot with work, with day-to-day -day life that that's it, I have a computer with me wherever I go. What more do I want? Let's talk about the camera. There are a lot of specs for the cameras here, the 50 uh, megapixel wide lens uh, camera. It's almost half or less than a half of what I had with the Note 20 Ultra. But what really bothered me is the front camera when the phone is unfolded. It's four megapixel. And the one I have uh, on the Note 20, I believe it's 10 mega megapixel camera, front camera but the difference is huge. So I'm gonna try to open the, oh, you can see my notes here. <laughs> I really don't like the camera. It's, uh, right now I have all these lights on me, so it's kind of clear, but during the day it's grainy and I feel like it's not really nice. It does the job for like joining meetings or whatever, but uh, I wouldn't use it to take any pictures or selfies. Instead, I would use the, the phone capability using all these nice cameras that you have over here and use them to take amazing selfies, which is what Samsung advertises anyways. Last but not least, the storage. This is something that's really grinding my gears. I don't like the storage aspect of this phone. Uh, I'm used to having Android phones where you just put in a memory card uh, when yours is full or if you want to upgrade it to a higher, more storage you don't have this option with the Z Fold 5, which feels like Apple iPhone to me. Uh, luckily, during the pre-order, there was an offer where you get double the storage for free. So I ended up with a 512 gigabyte phone. I would really suggest not to go with the 256 gigabyte because it's gonna fill up even if you have like cloud services or something, it's gonna get annoying. Don't bother going with the lower storage model. Using the screen, uh, I found that it's really nice to watch YouTube on it, but I didn't like streaming services or other stuff because I found that it, the screen cut too much because of the aspect ratio, even if you hold it this way, it cut too much from the screen and I didn't really appreciate it. I didn't really like it unless you zoom out enough so that you have black borders on the top and the bottom. Now that's okay and I think that's manageable. Like at the end of the day, hey, this is a phone. I'm starting to expect PC power things or aspects out of 
this phone just because I'm using it every day and it's amazing, but I have to be realistic. This is a phone at the end of the day that's helping me a lot with work and uh, my workflow and everything. So I'm gonna enjoy it as it is. I really appreciate what Samsung has done with this phone. This is my first foldable. Uh, I don't see the crease, like a lot of people also mentioned the crease and saying like, uh, oh, it's definitely there. You, you only see it when you look like sideways at uh, the screen. Otherwise, it just feels amazing. You forget about, uh, like now I'm talking about it so I can see it, but as you're browsing, as you're doing some other stuff, you're going to Reddit or whatever, you don't, and now I'm looking at YouTube, YouTubers subreddit, you don't notice the, uh, the, the fold or like the crease in the middle. It's just amazing. And even when it's really sunny outside, the 1750 nits brightness of the screen is more than capable to let you see what you're reading or what you're working on or uh, what you are sharing with your friends. So overall, this is an amazing phone. I would su suggest, recommend going for the 5, 12 gigabyte storage at least. Uh, there's also the one terabyte, but don't get the 256. Uh, don't be worried about the battery. It used to annoy me that, uh, you know, like phones, why don't they have like uh, 10,000 milliamp hour like uh, uh, batteries, Like, but why? You have all these amazing products on Amazon right now where you can just plug in the battery and charge it. I also have a uh, an Anchor uh, power bar or power uh, uh, battery storage, whatever you want to call it. And uh, it provides, I think, 90 or 100 watts. So the phone, of course, takes 25 only and that charges it amply. I don't know if that's a word. Uh, but that's enough for me. So I don't care really about charging it. Uh, I don't have any battery anxiety anymore. And I just enjoy the phone. I hope that you enjoyed the review. Please leave comments. I will do my best to answer them. And if you want me to do another video about another aspect of this phone, let me know. For now, take care.